Okay, it's better. I have to just hold it. I was trying to adjust the camera so that um, y'all could see me. I had it on my dashboard, but when I put it there, it's too dark. Like, the lighting is so good. So, anyhow, good morning. Today is December 12th, 2021, and it is 11.07 a.m., and I need my eyebrows done. <laughs> but it's all right, yeah, okay? It's okay. It's all right. I'm actually going to my mom soon. I'm going to be traveling to um, Texas, so I plan on getting my eyebrows done very soon. Okay, don't judge me. Don't judge me. So I took a day off. I was not on here yesterday. I missed y'all so much. I was just like, I got to get back to my family. I got to get back to these. Good morning. I was like, I got to get back to my family. Like, it's to the point now, like, if I don't go live, I'd be missing it. Like, that's how much a part of my life um, life has became. So the most amazing thing happened to me this morning. I think posted, um, I forgot where I posted it. But anyway, the most amazing thing happened. I know. Thank you. I was missing you yeah, I was like, I got to get back to this live. Like, what is going on? Who am I going to talk to? But I really just, like, you know, every now and again, I just try to take um, time for myself, like, you know, just to gather my thoughts, you know, and just, be in a moment of just spending time, and sometimes you got to separate yourself and just spend time with the Father. So that's what I was doing yesterday, and I came, and I still came to the water because, you know, I come here every day, and I was walking the shore of the ocean and just praying and just, like, spending time with him. It was just an amazing experience. So <clears throat> that's what I did yesterday morning. And then I went home, and I was just, like, relaxing, and it was just I feel rejuvenated today. I, sometimes you just got to deposit. You got to get with him so he can deposit and see a spirit, you know? Like, oh, you ain't going to have nothing to say. You're going to be sitting on here trying to make things up out the sky, and I ain't about to do that. So the most amazing thing happened to me this morning. I woke up this morning. I was laying in bed, and um, I grabbed my phone, and Oh, okay. I will be praying. I will be praying. It's so funny because my best friend is experiencing the same exact situation right now. The same exact thing. Her car just went out on her yesterday, and she was, like, really going through it because she have, um, you know, kids, and she got to get around, and she got to do what she got to do. And so she's dealing with the same thing, but I'm believing Father to come through and show up and show out because that's what he does. Put your faith and your hope and your trust in him, and he is going to provide a way because he always do. Like, I'm a believer, and I know that if he can do it for me time and time again with me and my kids, he could do it for anybody. So just stay in prayer about it and stay in faith and know that he is going to provide a way because he always does, always does. So getting back to what I was saying this morning, you're welcome. This morning I'm laying in bed, and I went to go grab my phone, and I look at my hand, and guess what? It was a rainbow on my arm. I wish I don't know if I can post the, the picture in the comments. I'm gonna see if I could comment on my own um, video and see if I could upload the picture. But it was so amazing. I was just like, this is like it just bugged my mind out because a few days ago my daughter was laying on the bed. And this is the second time this happened with my daughter. She was laying with me on the bed, and a rainbow just appeared like on her diaper. It was crazy. It was on her diaper. And then just recently, it was on, like, across her chest. It was a rainbow. And then this morning, it was a rainbow on my arm. And I was just like, oh, my gosh. But it's nothing but a reminder of his promises, right? Because in, in the Word, it speaks of how, like, he'll put a rainbow in the sky, and um, it'll be a sign that he'll never destroy the earth with water again, right? So the rainbow is just in representation, not so much of that only, but just a representation of his promises. So whenever you see a rainbow, and he don't promise you something, that just means that he's bringing his promise to fulfillment. He did not forget about you because sometimes when we're going through the midst of life, we get discouraged and we get sidetracked, we get knocked down, we get kicked down, we get stepped on, we get trampled. And as we're in the midst of going through all this crazy, cra crazy, crazy, crazy chaos, He'll do something like show you a rainbow to show you, like, listen, I have not forgot, forgot about you. The promises that I gave you, yes, I gave them to you. You know that I gave them to you. And let me just remind you. So here, let me show you this rainbow. So I was just like, oh, I was blown away. I took a picture of it because I could not believe it. I was just like, is this a rainbow on my hand? 
this uh, actually was my arm. I was like, is this a rainbow on my arm? Like, it looked like I got a tattoo there. But, you know, it, his glory, you know, a tattoo can never even begin to um, visualize his glory. So it was it was just beautiful. I was just like, wow, you know. So what a way to wake up that this morning because – Yesterday here it was, I was just, you know, just spending time with him and just like, you know, I was on a date with him yesterday. It's going to be okay, sis. It's going to be okay. Trust in me, okay? I done had the same exact breakdown like two, like day before yesterday. Girl, I was a wreck. I was a mess, okay? I was a complete mess, but it's like he brings you to that point of where you just get in that moment of, of, crying and pouring your heart out to him like he's bringing you and that's when he blesses you you know the most is when you come to him and you pouring your heart out to him and you crying out to him and he hears your cries he hears your cries he has every tear numbered and he knows exactly what you're going through and where there's a will there's a way so he is going to make a way out of no way he's going to make a way out of no way and so um, so today's word was that he wanted me to, because I was just sitting here praying, I'm like, okay, Father, what you want me to speak about today, okay? What's the word for today? Because I really didn't feel like I had anything to say. So I was like, you know, maybe I should just go on live and just hang out on live for a little while. And something was like, no, you know, you need to go on and you got something to say. So today's word is, and he gave me this word a few days ago. So whenever he gives me like a title, I always like put it in my notes. And whenever he calls me to release it, then that then I will. So the word that he gave me for yesterday was, it's not a microwave world, okay? And so what he is saying in that is that sometimes we want instant gratification. Like, um, like for example, like you put, you know, you take a TV dinner, you pop it in the microwave, you put it on two minutes, and two minutes, boop, it's ready. You take it out. You're ready to go. So sometimes when he's giving you his promises or sometimes when he's showing you something different for your life other than your current situation, you want it to happen right then and there. you just like, you know what, this is what he showed me, so it's supposed to happen. I'm supposed to get that new car right away. I'm supposed to get that new house right away. I'm supposed to um, have that move right away. I'm supposed to get this financial breakthrough right away. I'm supposed to get pregnant right away, and I've been trying, you know. So it's like we have this right away mentality as a result of society, right, because society likes to tell us that everything is instant, okay. You don't like your body, you just hop on the table and you hop off and and, um, your body flies. Or, you know, like, it's just like so much instant gratification in this world these days that we've gotten so caught up with the fact that we think that because life is like that, that the father is like that. And he's not. He's not, okay? It's not a microwave world for him. Like, he's going to operate when he wants to operate. He's going to do things when he feels it's time to do things. And he's going to move in a moment when he knows it's right for you. Because, for example, like, what if, he, what if you've been, you know, praying, praying, praying for this new car? And he come and he bless you with this new car, but you ain't have you don't got no job. If it's a car note, you ain't got no job to pay this car this car note, you know. Or you ain't got the money to sustain that thing that he's giving you. So what benefit would it be if he was to give you something only for it to be taken away because you're not ready? So sometimes he has to take you through preparation, a preparation period, and it's not easy at all. But he, that preparation period that he's taking, to, taking you through is preparing you to be able to receive the gifts that he's giving you, to be able to receive the good things that he's bringing into your life because he doesn't just want to bless you with something for it to be taken away. No, when he blesses you with something, he wants it to be um, a sustainment. Like he wants you to be able to hold on to that thing and for it to continue to run over and spill over in your life and cause other blessings to track you down. He doesn't want to give you something and then – and then five minutes later, now your car getting repossessed because you couldn't afford it. Like, what what benefit is that? And that happens so many times. Like, right when we out here and we trying to live for ourselves, we trying to make things happen on our own time. Like, never mind all of that. I need this right now, and so I'm going out there and I'm gonna do what I gotta do right now in this moment to make it happen. And what a dangerous place to be, because in the moment when you decide to take things into your own hands. Well, now you're going to have a whole lot of um, repercussions as a result of taking things into your own hands instead of just waiting, okay? It's not always about instant gratification. Sometimes he does do that. Sometimes he'll bless you instantly, and sometimes he won't. It's all a matter of his ways is not our ways nor his thoughts ours. So we don't know the day, the time, nor the hour when he's going to change our life, but I promise you it only takes one 
second for your whole life to be changed. For your whole life to be changed in one moment, you can go from from being broke to having money. You can go from struggling to now you're okay. You could go from being financially unstable to now you're financially stable. It only takes one moment for him to bless your life and to turn your whole circumstance around. So that's why it's important for us to stay in his word because he knows best. He knows best. And, and the things, the good things that he has for us, we can never begin to either phantom what they are. Like, he gives you glimpses, and he gives you bits, and he gives you pieces. And he was talking to me. We was having this conversation yesterday. Because, you know, we conversate. Like, that's my that's my father. Like, we talk, okay, just like father and daughter do. And so we conversating yesterday, and he said, you know, like, I give you glimpses because guess what, daughter? If I was to give you the whole big picture, first of all, you would automatically, your doubt is going to cancel it out. Because if I was to show you the whole picture, you wouldn't believe it. You would not believe of the good, the the whole full picture of the goodness that I have for you. It's so much and it's so um, hard for you to bear that you would just automatically cast it down. You'd be like, oh, uh-uh, I know that. What? A mansion? No, nah, no, nah, that ain't for me. I know that he lying. Right? Automatically your thoughts and your mouth and everything that he's showing you begins to rise up and try to tear down that very thing that he's put into into your heart. And before he even has a chance to even begin to work on you to bring it to pass, you don't already shot it down in your mind. You're already sitting there and, and self-talk and telling yourself that you're not good enough to receive it or you don't have this and you don't have that, and you automatically try to align your physical um, attributes to his spiritual gifts and his, his spiritual um, promises, right? Like you automatically in your brain, you try to compare the two. And it's no comparison. Because the things that he has in heaven, we can't, comp- that's just like us trying to, like, you know, compare the the earth to heaven. It's no comparison. The, the You know, it's no comparison to two. There's no way that you could ever possibly compare the blessings that he has for you to the natural. It's just, it's, I mean, you would just be doing yourself a disservice to even try to think that you can compare what he has, you know, to the natural. And people just showing, they just popping up at this water today. I came and normally... Yes, 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 yes. There is a miracle. Yes, yes. There's a song. Is it by Tasha Cobbs? Uh, yeah. There's a miracle in this room with my name on it. It's by um Tasha Cobbs, I think. Go listen to that, sis. Go listen to that. That's your song for today. You're welcome. That's your song for today. Go listen to that. I think it's by Tasha Cobbs. There's a miracle in this room. I don't know the name of it, but if you go to um, YouTube and you just type type, type in Tasha Tasha Cobbs, there's a miracle in this room. It's going to pop up. But that that that's for you, sis. That's for you. Go listen to that. Um, so he's just amazing, y'all. I mean, I don't I don't even know how how and how many other ways. And you know, it's so crazy because even when I when I um come on here and I'm doing these lives like like so much negative doubts be trying to and thoughts be trying to like pop up and rise in my mind against even doing these videos like oh why are you doing the videos and why are you doing this and why are you doing that you think you're gonna make a difference and so it's like all of these thoughts that's like in my mind right and I'm still despite what the thoughts is trying to do I'm always persevering and I'm like I don't care what you're saying like I don't even care if I don't got nobody or here looking. I'm coming on here and I'm going to say what I have to say. I'm going to say what he is telling me to say. Whether one person watch, two person watch, nobody watches, like I'm going to say what I have to say. You know, that's the position that we have to stand on. We have to know that we know that we know that he is doing a move, even when you don't see the results. You know, even when you don't see the money, even when you don't see a way out, even way, even when you don't know how. You have to trust and believe in what you cannot see. And you have to know that he is behind the scenes and he's working. Okay, he is working. And that rainbow that was on my um, arm today, it was like proof. Like, I just, I could not believe that when I woke up that that rainbow was on my arm. I was just like, where does this happen at? So who does this happen to? Like, I, I'm just blown away. And I know, like I said, I know bits and pieces of what he showed me for my future. But he has not given me the fullness. And yesterday we was having a conversation, and he said, you don't even, you can't even begin to phantom the good things that I have for you. I'm giving you glimpses. I'm giving you, it's like a, um, what do you call it? Like, you know when they're putting out a new movie and they do um, commercials, and you'll see, like, um, 
Oh, I gotta put my phone on charge. They um doing commercials for like a movie and and um these helicopters are flying around on this water all day. I don't know what's happening. Uh I don't know, maybe they watching for if anybody drowning or something. Or maybe they think they're gonna find something in the water that nobody ever discovered. I don't know. But if you see if you ever seen a movie commercial, you know how they always come on, they pop on and you'll see like the um the different like scenes of the movie playing out and it, it builds up, you know, the energy of the mo- of the commercial builds up and now go watch this movie. This movie is out such and such a time. It's kinda like that's what he does. Like he just gives little glimpses, little commercials, little um moments, um, for you to get excited about his promises but he don't give you the full movie. Right, just like when you're sitting in front of the TV screen and you're looking at the commercial, you don't get a chance to sit down and watch the whole movie. You only get to watch little, like, bits and pieces of the movie, but you got to go actually go to the movie theater or rent it or buy it or whatever so that you can watch the full movie. And so that's what his promise is like. It's like he gives you glimpses. He gives you, and sometimes it just drives you crazy because you're like, oh, my gosh, like, I know the goodness that he has for me, and I know what he's telling me, and I know what he's showing me, and I don't want to be in this reality. I don't want to be here. Like, just get me out of here. Every time I think of baby boy, when Yvette was in the car and she was parked in front of Jody's house, and she went to his um, door and knocked on the door, and he basically was just like, uh-uh, you got a new man, what you here for? And he slammed the door on her face, and she went back in the car with her friend, and she was like, get me out of here, he don't love me no more. That's how it is, right? <clears throat> that is exactly how it is, like, get me out of here. I don't want to be in this reality because I know the promises that he's given to me. Why would I want to live in a shack when he showed me he's going to put me in a mansion? Right? Why would I want to drive a 1992 Volkswagen when he showed me a 2021 BMW? Why would I want to be making $10 an hour when, well, I hope ain't nobody making $10 an hour these days. But anyway, why would I want to be making $10 an hour when I know he showed me I'm going to be making $35 an hour? Right, why, like, and it's like it be it messes with you if you let it. Like, his promises will start to mess, it starts to throw you off track if you focus too much on it. Because you'll get so caught up in his promises that you just don't want to have nothing to do with your reality no more. you just like, listen, I'm checking out, here go the keys, I'm done. Like, I'm about to just have a seat, and I'm just about to sit right on this floor and do nothing until these promises come. Because I don't even want to live in this life no more. I don't even want to live in this struggle no more. I don't even want to live in this moment no more. And we have to keep our hope alive, right? We still have to continue to do our works, and we still have to continue to do what it is that he's pressing upon us to do, even though he showed us our promises and even though we know it's so much greater in store. And we just have to, you know, continue to have that hope, continue to have that faith in him, and he is going to provide. That's another one for you, says God provides. So why do I worry about my life when he comes to my rescue a thousand times? Every other voice, it is a lie. He provides. That's by um, Tamilla Mann. So you got to check that one out, too. Check out Tamilla Mann. That one is for you, too. And, you know, and everything going to be okay. Everything, I promise you, everything is going to be okay. The situation ain't what it looks like. The situation is not what it looks like. It seems rough. It seems hard. It seems challenging. But it is not what it appears to be. Just keep your faith. Keep your focus. Keep your hope. Keep praising him, even in the midst of the storm. And everything's going to be okay. I promise. Everything's going to He already got it figured out. He already got it worked out. He already know. He already sees an out when you just getting in. You just getting into the situation, and he already sees an out. He already got that exit for you. And here you is just coming into it thinking, oh, my gosh, what is happening? These birds are not playing out here today. Um, and you like, oh, my gosh, what is happening? But he already has an exit for you. That exit is already there. Like, all you got to do, it's like you walk into a room, right, and you, you walk you walk through the room. And then once you get to the back of the room, there's the exit, and you just go out the door. That's what it is in this moment. It's just you're in this moment, 
and he already got the exit. He already got the way. And I pray right now, Father, that whatever anybody is going through in this moment, Father, whatever situation that they find themselves in, Father, that you are with them, that you're walking with them, Father, leading them, guiding them, directing them, and showing them, making your vision clear to them, Father, and showing them your way out. Show up, Father, in their lives and show them, Father. Bring about that supernatural money. Bring about the, that, that clarity, that understanding. Allow them to hear your voice in a way that they never have, Father. Thank you for leading them, for guiding them, for directing them, for going before them and making their way straight. You're just so good, Father. You're so worthy. 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 You're so worthy, Father. And I just thank you for showing up and showing out on this channel, for touching the lives of each and every person who comes and tunes in to watch these videos, Father, that they be changed, that something about their spirit, something about their soul, something about their heart, something about their mind, that it just be transformed in a renewing of your word, Father. And I just thank you that you're just doing a work in this channel. You're doing a work in the lives of these people. And may he bless you and keep you and causes your foot not to stumble. And he's going before you, and everything is already, it's already done. It's already done. And um, you know what? I got to hop off because uh, I got to go. I'm going apple picking with my kids today. So I think I'm going to go live, and, and, and we're going to do, we going apple picking. I haven't done anything with my kids in, in a while. A while. It's been, you know, a lot with these businesses, and I haven't really made the time not that i didn't have it because you can always have time that you make i haven't made the time so today is all about my kids and i'm just going to enjoy being a mother for a moment right nothing else i'm gonna just enjoy and love all my kids the good ble the good gift that he's blessed me with so i hope you have an amazing day i'm gonna talk to y'all all soon later i probably go live you too i probably go live later and just vlog about apple picking you know I'm feeling like I need to vlog a little bit, so I think I'm going to just vlog about that. So um, I'll see you all soon. Have a great, great, great day.